Dementia is a multifactorial disorder. It has to do with how your brain develops, how your brain is maintained, and then what other late life diseases kick in. The communities that are most disproportionately affected by white matter disease are Latinos and Black Americans. Only really in the last few years do we really have enough uh, Black Americans and Latinos participating in enough research where we understand all of these diseases that are at play in these underrepresented communities throughout the United States. Dementia is diagnosed in an individual, but it affects the whole family. Dementia affects so many Americans, and in particular for Black and Latino communities that are disproportionately at risk for developing dementia. The toll is huge. Diverse VCID is a study that examines the importance of abnormal signals in white matter on cognition and the future likelihood of developing serious impairments such as dementia in a diverse group of individuals. We use advanced brain imaging blood-based biomarkers technique to look at changes in the vascular risk factors, for example, that may cause these abnormalities and injury to the white matter and that eventually will lead to a cognitive decline in dementia. UC Davis is one of 17 clinical sites that's part of this collaboration. In addition, there are 11 other scientists who are at various other sites. It's really important in science to have what we call variability. That's lots of people participating, lots of differences in the participants in the study population that we're looking at. The disease is affecting all of us, and it's probably affecting us each a little differently. And so having a lot of diversity is critical for us to understand white matter disease and how it's affecting all of the older adults in America. It is important for Latin Americans in that we are represented in all these studies. I don't think that has been done enough. Um, we get less scared about going for medical care because we are part of finding a solution or finding an answer. It's important for Black and Latino researchers to be part of this study, to facilitate this study, because our communities are depending on us, because our communities have shaped us, and nobody knows our communities like we do. If Black and Latino populations are going to be reached, included, and engaged in a way that feels right, it's going to be because Black and Latino researchers were included, we were listened to, and we were engaged. Our future community is our responsibility, so more people, especially unrepresented groups need to participate so science is better informed to fight the deadly disease. The more I learn about it, the more I realize what I don't know. It's a condition that we really don't see it. It's hiding in plain sight. So hopefully the research will put some, not just light on it, but give real faces and real stories to what happens to people and what we can do to support them. One of the limitations of science has been the emphasis on homogeneous populations. We see more when we look more deeply across different people. There is a lot of data in the white population. There is much less data in populations of diverse ancestry. So this is really where the, the study has a big role, is to really extend the knowledge that we have already developed in white populations to populations of more diverse backgrounds. We have a massive amount of new data that will be collected in this study. We are covering just about every aspect of human behavior from the basic to the social science. The mission of Diverse VCID is to ultimately come up with a risk profile such that any individual can present to a physician and be asked a series of questions maybe get a blood draw, maybe get an image, and get detailed information about their risk for cognitive decline in the future, with the goal of maintaining brain health throughout their life. I feel this study will change the way we see healthcare, the way that we get involved with research, the way that we are part of it, the way that we can leave a legacy. I hope this study will change the lives of African Americans and Latino people across this country by giving them the knowledge and the legacy that they have contributed to research that may 
change the lives of their daughters, their sons, their grandchildren, and the lives of other people in their community. I think that if we can learn how to diagnose better and understand how the disease is manifested, not only just in the individual, but also culturally, we're gonna do so much better of a job in medicine of helping potentially millions of older Americans live longer, healthier, and more engaged lives.